Good evening and welcome to this evening's meeting of the Finance and Management Committee and by the Parish Council. It's now sure, turned seven o'clock. Yeah. It's now turned seven o'clock and we'll, we'll start. Thank you all for your attendance and for coming. Uh, it's great to see you all. The first time we met in the flesh this committee in some time, so I'm really pleased to see you all. And uh, okay, we'll crack on. So we'll start off with public question time. Um, I don't believe there's any members of the public. Does anyone want to start speaking in capacity as a member of the public? Okay, then I propose to move on. If someone does, however, turn up for the public, I'm quite happy to make this a little bit to turn up within the next 15 minutes. Yeah. Okay, then. So, item 2122, Public Bodies Admission to Meetings Act 1960, amended by openness of local government bodies regulations 2014. As a local parish town council, Meetings can now be recorded. The chairman to check if anybody wishes to record the meeting to ensure a reasonable facility can be provided. The officer will be recording the meeting for upload to the parish councils. Are we doing that? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Are we to the um, we'll be recording the meeting to be uploaded to the parish councils YouTube, YouTube channel. Is everybody okay with that? Does anyone yes. want any other means to record the meeting? Okay. <coughs> Item 21, 22, 19, to accept apologies for absence. We have an apology received from Dye Hall, um, but there's a couple of councils that have not sent apologies in. Councillor Bruce and Councillor Sweeney. Thank you for that, Councillor. Councillor Hall's husband's going to hospital, so I mean, do isolate, I think. Yeah, we have received, we have received apologies from Councillor Hall. Yeah. Okay, 21, 22, 22 to receive members and officers personal and disclosable peculiar interest in items on the agenda. Okay, none received. To consider written requests for DPI dispensations. Please? No. No, we not Okay. And to consider whether items on the agenda should be discussed in private session. I'm not of anywhere aware of any of the items. No, no. No, okay. And then 21, 22, 22. 23, to confirm minutes of the previous committee meetings. Has everybody seen? Yes. Yep, fine. <coughs> Are we all happy with approving, approving them? Yes. Yep. 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 That's been carried. <coughs> 21, 22, 24, accounts for payment. To note the chairman of the council has not used any of her chairman's allowance during her term of office so far. Two, to note the comment. The completed list of payments for April 2021. And then three, to approve pending transactions for the schedule of payments of May 2021. Are they on? Um, so the first two are to note, and then we need to approve, so we need to vote on the, the third. Are we all okay approving that? Good. See how? Thank you. That's been approved. Okay, item 21, 22, 25, financial statements approved, the accounting summaries, copies and closed. So, these are to approve, so I'll take them one, two, three, four, as we go through. Okay, so has everyone had a chance to have a look at these? Yeah. And been through them? Yeah. If anyone's got any anomalies, want to go through, or if they need to go through, please <laughs> shout and let me know. So. Item 1, Bank and Reconciliations, all accounts at the end of 30th of April 2021. Are we all okay to approve those? Yeah. Thank you. Cash books, all accounts, receipts and payments at the end of 30th of April 2021. Can we move that we approve those? Yeah. And then... Number three, trial balance to end of 30 of April 2021. Are we okay to approve that? Thank you. Number four, detailed income and expenditure by budget heading. Budget report to the end of 30th of April 2021. Are we all okay to approve that? Uh, sorry, can I just ask yes. one question? Um, which is just about the toilet donations. Have you got the page number so we can all... Okay, page 17. So 17 of um, 
pay for heat. It just says zero for toilet donations, but then I'm conscious that mm -hmm. one of the things higher up, we had an income of 330 pounds. Yeah, it does say 330 pounds. Yeah, it was. It does say 330 pounds. Yeah, here we are. Three, so, so up on page 6, I think it is. So on page, page 6, it, there was... Um, for the cash mm -hmm. cash book thing, it says home birth toilets and that receiving three hundred thirty pounds forty pence. Mm -hmm. Oh, unless does it for oh, it's, sorry. It's, then it says donations March twenty twenty one. So presumably that will be in previous years income. Yes. Okay. Uh, and that's away. Yep. Okay. <coughs> that's fine. <coughs> will they close your period? Mm. During what? Yeah. Right at the very beginning, but yeah. that would be the last financial year, I would yeah. think. No, it's because it's yeah. up with that cash book one. Because it had the June date, as it had March instead. Okay. Anyway, that's fine. Yeah. Okay, so that's item four, are we okay with that? No, that's encouraging, actually, that we've had yeah. some income. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that's pretty good. So, you know, yeah. good. We're also getting rent now from the. Uh, from the job, so yeah. that, that's also bringing in money, so mm -hmm. with, a bit of, with a bit of lucky for being a <coughs> plus balance rather than a negative. I think if we could get it to wash its face, it would be good. It would be good you know, yeah, I mean, to look after itself. Item number five, cash investment reconciliation to the end of the 30th of April 2021. Okay, yep. we'll approve that. Yep. Sure. And then item six, earmarked reserved to the end of the 30th of April 2021. We're okay? Yeah. Okay, right then, moving on now, we're on to item F, the final accounts, 21, 22, 26. Final accounts to consider the approval of the final accounts 2021 processed by Rialtus on the 26th of May 2021, RFO and Deputy Clerk to report. Not here, has he sent a report? He has. He's explained. Um, I'll read it out. Rialtus were evidently quite <laughs> pleased with the final accounts, everything balanced. The RFO had made one error because he did not know how to account for a transaction paid in one year but accounted it for in another. It was easily enough amended and did not impact on the accounts. Just for information, unlike last year where the parish council fired money between budget lines at the end of the year to bring budgets into credit, Rialtas has advised that the council should just show lines as being over or under budget as this more accurately and truthfully shows the specifics of the financial situation. And then he says, the detailed income and expenditure by budget report shows that we were £77,971 in credit over the year. That's what he said under 26. Thank you. Has anybody got any comments on that? Um, can I just jump Please. Two comments. Please one is, I assume that obviously this year on the Realtors thing was just because Realtors is new, the data isn't there for last year, but presumably in subsequent years there will be the two columns. Yes. So sure. that should be quite, so that would be quite useful. To yeah, that's why I can compare them. Um, but the other thing I was just going to say, there's a, there's a page five, I think it is, that says, um, something needs to be signed by the chairman. Is that something that happens? No, after? not no. Not tonight. Okay. I wasn't sure if that happens yeah. after the Hagar meeting. Yeah. 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 I did ask Rich, and I, he said nothing mm -hmm. was to be signed. It's only because it's the 31st of March. Yeah. Something. 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 Oh, well. Because it's late. Michael, the the figure 77,000 uh, shown as a balance. How much of that is uh, earmarked as reserves for? Uh, Future expenditure. Well, that is what was 
wasn't used last year. We've done yeah, our budget. Right, so yeah. put it into <coughs> our reserves, I believe. That's what we've yeah. done with it. Brilliant. But we've put it into our earmark reserves for this year. All of it. Well, yeah, it's all, I mean, it's all been accounted for and gone into this year's budget. But obviously yeah. what they're saying is, you know, that's what you didn't use that you thought you would use. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm, I'm just thinking if that was the case, there were certain monies that we would have uh, made uh, which could have been used in this year's budget uh, for other matters and we wouldn't have had to have the budget as high. And I just wondered how, whether that would have worked or whether it wouldn't. Well, I think we knew we had to. Underspend. Well, we we expected to underspend. We, had, we if we didn't underspend, there was something seriously wrong. Yeah. yeah. But it's all been yeah. diverted into earmark reserves or budget amounts, hasn't it? Is this is yeah. this part of the yeah. discussion later on? Later on, there's a discussion regarding the reserves. Yeah. Yeah. Further down the. Mm -hmm. So the underspend, according to the better description, has gone into into reserves, but there's a discussion further down the thing of what we, where we should be with our reserves and what our reserves should be and what, how we go about reconciling that. That's okay. So yes, thank you Paul, that does need discussing, but I think mm -hmm. it is further down it, the it, agenda it to be discussed. It's it just as I thought, if we, so far, I knew we would be, but I, yeah. I didn't think it would have been so far. Yeah. <coughs> okay, so to consider the approval, this is a bit strange. Do we consider the approval of the final accounts processed by Altus? I'm asking you to consider them, or are we asking you to approve? Approve. Yeah. I think we've got to approve them. Yeah. They're, 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 they're more uh, yeah. uh, better skilled than any of us at it, I think. Okay, do we have someone to move on? Yeah. Okay, and then we get to 21, 22, 27, the internal audit year end report, which is the bit that's put together by Realtas. Mm -hmm. So this this lady in the internal report is the same person that works for Realtas, is that so? No, no, she's the internal auditor, so she's, right. the, she's yeah. the independent person yeah. who does the internal audit. So we've got all, uh, Realtos does all the accounting and yeah. helps us to get all the figures in the right place. She looks to see whether they're correct and when, whether we've looked, done all our governance correctly. So, so we've got two different sets of eyes looking at this for us, which is good, isn't uh, it? Yeah. I think it's a bit of a beg us to spend all this money on these independent people and the people from outside the area and we can't use somebody local. Well, she's we, very thorough. We, we used to use local people, I think, for some of it, but... Uh, well, we, we did make a decision that we would, you know, a decision was made that we would go with the Realtos, Altas for the first year mm -hmm. of it, the, um, on the basis that that would put forward a good, for want of a better word, a crib sheet, yeah. work on forward for Richard going forward, yeah. that he would adopt the same style and the same so way of working put it together, but we would, the Realtos would be just a one-off mm. for them to do it, and in the future it would be Richard that puts together the um, internal audit. No, 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 the internal audit is done externally. Yes. Trust me, I've just done yeah. some training. <laughs> the inter both the internal and the external audit are done by external auditors. Yeah. I'll tell you more when yeah. I report back on the training. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, getting, I'm getting worried about you, Pat. You're getting, too, you're getting too much knowledge. It could be dangerous. Well, the, the, I, I kept saying, the, the one that's of no use, mm -hmm is the external audit. The internal audit is really useful, goes into all the detail, makes suggestions, all the rest. The external skims over the top and charges load. But it, may, it does all that and, and makes suggestions. I don't like people making suggestions. Oh no, helpful, helpful. They only cost you money. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. That's true. No, they are both ex done by external auditors. I take your point. Okay, so, Safi Kose from the Internal Audit Yorkshire completed the end of year internal audit with some actions for the council. The RFR Deputy Clerk to report. Mm. Well, Rich has written a little report and I'll read it out. The internal auditor noted that the Parish Council's reserves policy did not reflect the most recent 
joint panel on, on accountability and governance, otherwise known as the JPAG, Practitioner's Guide 2021, regarding the amount of reserves that the Parish Council should hold. The RFO and Deputy Clerk has amended the policy so it is in line with the guide for consideration. So that's later down he's done a policy with yeah. Yeah. yellow boxes. Like if approved by Council, the implication of this for next year's budget is that the Parish Council will need to take steps to reduce the general reserve in accordance with the recommendation, maybe by as much as £100,000. It could do this by three ways, as per 2.3, any surplus on the reserve above the required balance may be used to fund capital expenditure, be appropriated to earmark reserves, or used to limit any increase in the precept. So that's three options. Members will need to consider what to do with the surplus on reserves when budget planning takes place later this year. Something significant could be done with the sum involved, so members should plan on what they would like to see done in preparation. For example, earmarked reserves could be topped up or new projects created and all the charge to households could be reduced. So, sorry, uh, Liz, it's, yeah. it could only be used for capital, not revenue. So it's, you said it's capital initiatives. Is that what you said? Oh, I think he just means oh. buildings or something That's like what that. That's what I meant, you yeah. Like you've been giving to cast, Grants. you might do more of that, yeah. Okay, yeah, that's, okay. What that's what he means. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Okay. Is, is that the... Are we having the discussion about that, or are we just noting the report at this point, Michael? I think it's on the agenda, isn't it? Is it it's put on the agenda, is it, is it, or is it? But it's, it's on the agenda to, to, to discuss the recommendations, I think, isn't it? Mm. Mm. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So, yeah, as an action from the internal audit to consider adoption of the revised Home Valley Parish Council Reserves Policy, incorporating recommendations from the joint panel um, regarding the amount of reserves that the Parish Council should hold. That's previously discussed by the RFO. Okay. So, Chair, sorry, Chair, do we not need to discuss the other recommendations first? I'm just going <laughs> to. Yeah. There is a separate paper, GII. Yeah. Yes, there is. There is a... Just before we go down the rabbit okay. hole. <laughs> so, uh, Appendix A. Yeah. Uh, well, there's a separate page. This is GII, which, which presumably the deputy clerk's put together with three, the three recommendations and then a comment on each of them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. One page. Yeah. yeah. First one's the. So the first one. The RBS reversing journal is updated to include the sum of £4,613.07 for the outstanding debt related to insurance and that the outstanding sum is recovered by the RFO. So they are. So that's the yeah, insurance for the civic hall that we pay and then we have to ask for it back. I don't know why we haven't done it. I thought we had done it, but it looks like we haven't. So that's one thing that's got to be corrected. No, oh, it says it's already been paid. It's already paid, so that yeah. recommendation's already been... Yeah. It's been dealt with. Yeah. 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 And then the second one is that section related to general reserves contained within the general reserves policy is updated to bring it in line with the latest guidance published in the Government's Accountability Practitioners Guide. So the clerk has updated the Home Valley Parish Council with the general reserves policy to reflect this, and it's been put forward to this committee for approval. So we'll have a look at that shortly. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. And then... The third one is that the unaudited AGAR compromised of sections 1 and 2 are approved, signed and uploaded to Parish Council website in accordance with publication requirements. And it shows us that this will be completed after approval by the full council in June 2021. What does AGAR stand for? Accountability and Governance Annual Review. It's one of the few things you have to save every year. For, it's Zoom, um, though. <laughs> It's like your, the public um, um, confirmation that you've looked after your accounts properly yeah. recently. You've managed the accounts all well. You've got, you've got to show that you've made it available on yeah. yeah, that comes By a certain date as well. Yeah. And it's got to be shown both on the notice board and the website, not just the website. 
Why is anything up there on the website? Everybody knows more than the Jew do. We, we inform people a lot more than what we used to do. Yeah, that's a good thing. Is it? <laughs> Can I just I suggest, Jeff, that given a, the internal yeah. audit seems to give a very good account of mm. how our accounts are being done, yeah. so I think we yep. should um, minute thanks to the RFO for the support from the clerk. Yes. Yes. And the internal yeah. auditor, and me. the internal yes. auditor yes. for yeah. a good, you know. Yes, so yeah. that, that, uh, a positive conclusion. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. All those in favour, passing on our compliments and uh, thanks to uh, all those involved. So that's yeah. the RFO. It's nice when you've got involved. something like this internal auditor who's so thorough and does wrap the knuckles, but you understand the reason for it and yeah. you can deal with it straight away and it has yeah. been dealt with and I think that's uh, yeah. And, yeah. It's, it, and it's, it's quite interesting to see the change from the previous year. I mean, the, 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 there are fewer recommendations for change. So yeah, they're going yeah. each year. Yeah, going. There are fewer and fewer things that need yeah. to be attended to. Mm -hmm. It's good. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> These the people, like it's in with have got, they've got, they've got to, uh, Sure that the, they are doing something, otherwise they'd be out of a job. Wouldn't they? And uh, uh, I know they know a lot more than what uh, we do. But the thing is, is that uh, if they didn't come up with something, we'd wonder why we needed them. It's like well, it's like we, I wonder why we need the external auditor, and the reason is it's the law. And that was the only answer the woman doing the training was able to give me. Yeah. <laughs> and what the law, what, what the law is for? Well, abiding by when you're a council. Right. <laughs> spending public money. Yeah. yeah, when you're spending public money, you don't have the option of not abiding by the law. So I believe it is important we're here to look at and uh, decide whether we would approve the change in the amended sections of the uh, reserves policy. Has anyone got a light of that? Does anyone want to I read can't that? find the page, I'm afraid. Okay. This all in one just doesn't work. Have you got a page? 96. 96. It's, it's about three quarters of the way down. It's, it's not much further to go and look at that. Well, I'm on 100 of 123. Oh, yeah, I have to go back. It's 95. 95. Or 95, I might be wrong. Oh, no, it's 96, sorry. That's right, you want to bring 120 some pieces of paper. 96? Does it start with an introduction? Yes. Introduction. Yes. 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 Council is required under statute. Yeah. The yellow bit. Got it. So the yellow it's like the general, general right. preamble and the, the yellow bits are the bits that's either been inserted or amended. Right. Yeah. yeah. So the, port, the, port, the policy as was was the one without the yeah. highlighted bits. Yeah. So the bit added in is, it is important, however, given that its funds are generated from taxation, public levies, that such reserves are not excessive. Mm -hmm. So that's been mm -hmm. applied into the preamble. Yeah. Yeah. I find no reason at all to argue with that. No. Mm -hmm. that makes sense. Can I was just going okay. to ask, can, the, can we ask at the footnotes or on the page that they refer to, not at the end? Unless that's how we always do our policy footnotes. Um, yeah, click on it. Well, it's easier to yeah, because we're up and down, up and down to yeah. the footnotes. Yeah. Like that. Footnotes rather than ends. Yes. 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 Yeah. 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 Yeah.
the, the classes went up to yeah, the same yeah, 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 yeah. one time we were smaller then we became yeah. bigger and went up to 50. I was double we were we were I always thought we were high. It does say a minimum balance, doesn't it? Fuel chair, council Um yeah, just, I just looked on on the internet to see what our current policy is <laughs> and it said two months salaries. Well, so did it? Three months. Oh, right. yeah. Three months seems sensible. Oh well, if that's yeah. the case. Yeah. I thought it was coming down, but if it's going up. You would pay out their notice, wouldn't they? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, that's really not very nice thing to say. <laughs> but that's what the purpose of it is there for. It is. <laughs> if you were winding up yeah. the council or something. Yeah. 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 Okay. 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 Hopefully that will Fair never point. happen. Yep. Okay. So should then we go down to section four point? I'm proposing that the end will just vote on the whole lot, if that's okay, unless someone yeah. actually does want to vote on them individually. No. Okay? Okay, 4.7. There is, in practice, no upper li or lower limits that you might reserve, save only that they must be held for genuine and intended purposes, and their level should be subject to regular review and justification, at least annually, and should be separately identified and enumerated. Significant levels of EMRs, in EMAC reserves in particular may give rise to inquiries from internal or and or external auditors. So we're not in the purpose of stacking cash up just for the sake of it. Yeah. We're, there, we're there to spend the money on the financial, you know, they give us. And do we not have a tax. this paragraph in at the moment? No. No, no. 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 no we don't. Yes. Yeah. So I think it, so. it ties back in, doesn't it, with the, with the mm -hmm. introduction that this is taxpayers' money and levy. We should. Yeah. If, we, if we're going to raise it, we should do something with it, otherwise... Think the important Spend side. it or give it back. Yeah. The, the important thing well, is it talks there, about the doesn't it? Sorry. The sorry situation is, as I see, that uh, uh, it's okay uh, reducing in one thing and all that if there are major projects afoot. And I think uh, something that came through my door the other day was this tripping uh, uh, sum with the... Uh, uh, group that are wanting to do the planning up there. If we're going to be building some houses or potentially building some houses for low cost living for people, mm -hmm. uh, a large amount of money, like say £77,000, would go a long way towards uh, either one or two mm -hmm. uh, dwellings for that purpose. And that, uh, I think at some stage in the future we should be thinking on those lines. And also there was a policy of uh, back about developments and things like that provided for people yeah. that we should keep some money uh, for potentially the purchasing of a, a field or something like that for the same uh, reason to provide things for the uh, uh, for the locality. Okay, thanks for that, Paul. I'm aware that there may be another body base within the home valley that may be involved regarding a piece of land as the said chip is done but I don't believe that that is the parish council now someone may come at some point to the parish council and <coughs> look for support for that but I'm not aware that that's actually happened as yet however I, take, I mean if you want to come forward with the motion that the parish council is support that, I think that's the um, land charity that's involved with that not the parish council yeah but it, it is the land charity that is on parish council land and the parish council can provide a service which is the land being transferred from the land charity to the parish council for the purpose of providing dwellings. I'm not aware that that's happened yet but if, something, could does, if, something, could. if something could have come to the parish council yes and again similar with the allotment. Pat? Is it? I'm aware that, that, that currently any house building will be the land charity not the parish council is the parish council allowed and it's only a theoretical question i'm not proposing anything mm -hmm. to give money to the land charity no right i d i don't believe we are in a position to give money to the land charity no. in the same way the land charity should not be paying for things that the parish council have a duty to pay for <laughs> I, I, I just wanted to say i, I really welcome Councillor Dixon's statement there. I mean, I just think this, this, you know, this kind of big, big thinking is a, it is a really good thing. It's thinking outside the box, doing something new, and retaining the dynamism. So, Definitely. you know, I really welcome what, what yeah, Councillor Dixon has just said. Yeah, thank you. And I was pretty much going to say the same thing. I think, I think both two really good ideas. I think the allotments in particular, if we, if there was a way. Of acquiring land to provide community gardens allotments, I think a fantastic idea. 
And we could, what we could do, if, if we decide as Barish Council, we could, of course, help Eco Homes if ah, that went ahead. Not the land charity, could, but Eco Homes. Yes, yeah, so you could do what, what Councillor Dixon <laughs> suggested, you could do that if that was something in the future. So, I, I, so from that perspective... You could have many, many of the people. Yeah, yeah or, absolutely. Or be any, um, anybody in the valley. Yeah. As long as it's not an outside the valley thing, mm. I'm quite happy to support. Yeah, um, and it is, yeah. I look forward to such proposals coming from the two great ideas. It's most likely that the people that build the uh, properties, if it does go through, will be from outside the pump for that anyway. So, so yeah. getting back to the specifics of this then, so we're all okay with 4.7? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And then 5.2, the Joint Panel on Accountability and Business Practitioners Guide affirms that the generally accepted recommendation with regard to the appropriate minimum level of small authorities general reserves so this should be maintained at between three and twelve months net revenue expenditure in RE. And net revenue expenditure is effectively the precept. The reason for the wide range, three to twelve months, is to cater for large variations in size of individual authorities. The smaller the authority, the closer the figure should be to twelve months. The larger the authority, the nearer to three months. In practice, any authority with uh, with net revenue expenditure in excess of two hundred thousand should plan on three months equivalent general reserve. Given that the precepts of home by the parish council is in the range of 270,000 to 290,000, the general reserve should be calculated for three months. This means that general reserve should be in the range of 67 to 72 and a half thousand pounds. Is, is that a maximum? We st are we stating that? Because that it says it within the range. No, it's a recommendation. No, it's, it's a recommendation. It's, a recommendation. it's, it's, not, yeah. it's a recommendation. It is a range. Yeah. I, I think um, you know I, I wouldn't argue against the statement. Yeah. And I think when we're looking at setting budgets going forward, if we work towards getting the three months rather than the twelve months, but I don't think we need to just because it's in the in my reserve policy. I don't think we need to do it in year one. Yeah. Fair but I think it may be a goal that that's where we want to get to. It's my yeah. interpretation of it. Yeah. I don't know about anybody else. I don't think it, I don't think it restricts us if we've got something purposely that we know is going to be. And they're talking about non-earmarked. I'm, I'm realising yeah. that, but it, it, <coughs> what, I'm say, what I'm saying is we don't earmark something, but we know something is pending. Like if it was if, if it was that we're looking in five years. Uh, scheme before something takes off, but uh, ah, yes, uh, on either of these things I've just spoke about. Yeah, yeah. And if we're sort of building up reserves so that we're there, it's like every year we put so much into the budget for re elections and hope that there's no elections in that year. Uh, so there's enough so that when it gets to the term of the four year change round. Yeah. That there's quite enough money to pay for the whole lot, and it doesn't all come out of one year's uh, budget. No, good point. Mm. Yeah, cast yeah. away. Yeah, um, can, can I just seek clarity on what are our current general reserves? What were they at the end of? He's put them down somewhere, isn't he? It's, um, it's 170,000. There's somewhere in yeah, these somewhere 120 in pages. Because well, our earmark reserves are 159,827. And that's page 21 of um, the accounts paperwork. But that's our earmark reserves, which are different to what we're talking about. Mm -hmm. general reserves. So I'm not quite sure where to see the number that is our general reserves. Well, I'm understanding, Michael. Uh, a few years ago, it was decided that when we took the uh, civic call on, that it was going to be a, a large burden and a lot of money needed spending. Mm -hmm. People recommended that we spent so much this afternoon, and that's why budgets were kicked in and were increased. And when it was proven not to be totally necessary, uh, we've never lowered it. And I think, sort of, three years since or something like that, we ought to have lowered and uh, kept them at that level and then we wouldn't have been in the position now of an embarrassment of having too much money and not knowing where to put it. Uh, I think that, sorry, I'm just before sorry. I, I, come, I, will, I will let you have your say, Pat. <laughs> I, I would say it's, what you've said is not true, it's not, it's not wrong. I would interpret it as that um, 
there was an anticipation that there would be quite a lot of money spent on this building. I believe that this building still needs quite a lot of money spending on it and doing. But we anticipated that the speed that that money would be spent and would be yeah. invested into this and done there would be quicker. Yes. Because it's been slower, we've had this lag and that's made our reserves yeah. balloon. Mm. You know, and it is something that we do need to, that most definitely need to look at. But yeah. yeah. So Pat and then Paul. Oh, Short term it's gonna be several quite big lumps of stuff that's going on and needed for this building. Mm. And uh, <clears throat> and Holly Library will be a small burden, but a permanent one. This may be completely wrong, but on page 35, uh, it refers to total cash and investments of three, £337,368 held at the 31st of March. So, so that's our year end, isn't it? So that's including earmarks. So yeah. that, that's everything. So if we've got 158, whatever it is, thousand, mm -hmm. we've got roughly a bit more, about 170 in. Um, oh, general reserves. Oh, it's actually 187,000. Oh. There we go. Yeah. Out, so. I underestimated it. So mm -hmm. about yeah. yeah. So we need to get that back. We need to a plan going forward with that. Not tonight, yeah. but with yeah. our budgets going forward to get that into mm -hmm. the in accordance with this policy. Back into the yeah. budget so that people came out of. Yeah. Well, it, that could be via grants. It doesn't have, you know, can be. There's lots of ways and that doesn't need yeah. discussing. It's worth it. I mean, you it's, back to the people. It's about 100,000 difference. Yeah. My, my ambition when I was chairman of the council, uh, chairman of the finance committee, was every year to get it reduced. And one year they allowed me to do it by a pound. <laughs> 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 it's good to have a goal and an ambition and to be successful in that And I congratulate you for the years past when you achieved that. Excellent. I have one ambition left in life, and I think it hopefully in the next 12 months is coming to fruition. Are you going to tell us? Are you going to share that with us, Paul? It's a very stupid thing. It's to sell something that I have never sold before. Mm -hmm. All right. And my father did. And it's the one thing that he did um, that I haven't done. And what's that? What, what is it? So the rights to put sheep on a moor. Oh, oh right. Right. that's great and nice. Mm -hmm. And I believe we're going to have some to sell within the next 12 months. Oh, and uh, I've told the people that that's it, I can write my book then. And I, can, <laughs> <laughs> I can dedicate my life to being a counsellor or something stupid, something, something stupid but I can retire. Thank you very much for sharing with me. I know, I know, I know, I know it is boring, isn't it? No, no, no it's, it's, it's most it's certainly it's is not. not. No, that most certainly is not. I thought Every, everybody has to have a goal in life. Yes. Yeah. I, I thought it might be skydiving, but no. No, no, no. <laughs> no, the one thing that I did sell that he never did was slaves. Slaves? Yes, I've been involved in the slave trade. What, what, what is a slave? I assume a slave is the name of something other than a person working for nothing. No. I was asked by the lady who brought our milk to our door one day, uh, the local Home Valley uh, young farmers are raising money for charity. And they want you, they, they, they want, they want you to be the auctioneer. Yeah. And it, at Homley Show, some God was saying, yeah, about 40 years ago, yeah. and they, uh, they paraded did in sackcloth about 12 young farmers <laughs> who were prepared to work for a day for nothing. <laughs> And be what to be to get the. Yes. I hate to correct you, Paul, but that is indentured labour. It's not. <laughs> well, they were called. They were, it was slaves. We shall move on. It was slaves for, it was slaves for a day. Uh, you, 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 so that's. that's. Okay. So uh, five point two. So we've we looked at this. Means the general reserve should get to from the yeah. one hundred eighty something down to sixty seven to seventy two. Yeah. There. Yeah. Do we all understand what we're talking about? Yeah. Right? Yeah. There. So yeah. there's a bit of work to be done on budgeting going forward. Yeah. But um, other than that, I think these are very sensible and the right proposals and they're mm -hmm. in accordance with the guidance. Mm -hmm. And I would put these forward that we accept these amendments to our reserve policy. Yes. So yeah, second, second that for all and all those in favour. Thank you very much.
just one, the one foot note, not the three foot note. <laughs> <laughs> I still haven't found the foot, foot note. Yes. I'm not one. even going to try to do it. Yeah, I've had enough difficulty finding the page, let alone finding a foot note and then finding no, the way back. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so now we're on to... 21, 22, 28. Accountability and Governance and Accountability Return 2020 21. To consider the committee's recommending of the AGAR as present herewith to full council 21st of June 2021, RFO and Deputy Clerk to report. Well, have you all have been able to find the step by step guide? So we've been doing all right. Um, yeah, I have to turn my head. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, really, it's just to, to ask you whether you're prepared to put these papers forward to the meeting next week and you're prepared yeah. in their current form to forward them to full council. Yeah, yeah. Mm. yeah. 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 I'm yeah. quite prepared to do that. Yeah. All those in favour? And I suppose what he means by the documentation yeah. is the, the yeah. road map yeah. report from the, the internal rules to the actual forms that have to be signed. Um, yeah. The four things that are H1 to H5. <coughs> Do we know uh, yet, uh, Mr. Chairman, how long it will be after action? Oh, he'll be, he'll be back later this week. It's just that he's got to be in Northampton today. Oh, just for today? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I think that I, I didn't know whether his mother was coming after the hospital or whether he had to stay alive. Probably today, but uh, yeah. oh, working from home anyway. You see Clark in no, that meeting at the radar? He'll be there, yeah. Okay. No, that's all, that's all right. I am I, I haven't any problem with it. It was just a case I didn't want to put extra work on him having to get something out the next week if it was going to be here, if it was in his... Okay, so item 21-22-29. To note, all rental payments for the garages and allotments have been received except for one allotment payment of £20 where the cheque was received unsigned. A letter has been sent to rectify this. Mm -hmm. To note, rental payments for the shop in the Gartside buildings have been received for the months April and May. Charged at 50% 50, 50 of the normal rates agreed by the Community Asset Standing Committee. And payments will be resumed at the contracted rate in June, um, though paid at the end of the month rather than the beginning as agreed by CAS. Charged for electricity will be billed quarterly at the end of June to cover April 1st to June the 30th. It just concerns me that he's paying at, at the end of the month that what was in advance is now going into arrears. It's only for one month. It's only for one month. It's only for that month. Yeah. Right, if that's the case then. Help if we can. Okay. Yeah. Thank you for clarifying that. Maybe somebody else can. Mm -hmm. Okay. I don't think we'll ever have a chance to know whether it's a profitable business or not because there's never been a heavy They haven't had any normal time. No. Okay. <coughs> Rob, my fingers crossed we will get that in. As discussed at the previous meeting, the management of Water Lane allotments is responsibility of the Finance and Management Committee. However, there is currently no budget for allotment or for the site. Last month, one of the allotment users drew the Parish Council's attention to a minor disrepair of a dry stone wall at the allotment, and our maintenance contractor submitted a quote of £190 inclusive. Since then, unfortunately, the condition of the damage has worsened. The contractor submitted a revised quote for £250. The Chair of the Council had visited the site before the new damage has taken place and the deputy clerk RFO, had done some investigations into the council's archives. There is no written evidence or ownership of the wall though. Given that the wall is between the parish council's allotments and the lane, the deputy clerk is of the opinion that both sides of the wall are responsible to the parish council. To consider whether the parish council undertakes to repair the wall. I think there's something kind of missing out in here is we do decide to repair the wall. What budget do we get it out of because we haven't got one? Does that make any? Yeah. 
Mm. It's sort of like a chicken before the egg here, isn't it? Do we need the budget so we can decide to spend it? Or do we decide we're going to spend well, the budget well, no, and no, then find the budget? Well, you sent some pictures, Rachel, and you, you thought it was a non, a non entity, didn't he do it? I thought it was, um, yeah, fine, but then there's subsequently there's another picture. Cool. I'll show, show you on the screen. Where the damage it does look more, that's more collapsed, because the other bits look fine. I've seen plenty of that's walls. I've, I've seen plenty of walls worse than that, and the yeah. the, the damn people don't bother. The best I can see would. Chair, there's a hand up. Perry. I, I, I was going to propose that we find the money from somewhere yeah. to do this because I think this is the broken window syndrome. If you don't, yes. if you don't repair something when it's got small damage, then then people will come along and do more. Yeah. I speak from quite a lot of experience that people will come and take stones away. But, I mean, because it's fairly accessible, isn't it? So I would Good suggest point. from somewhere. I wonder if I buy the government for a walking yes. ground and, do, and get somebody into the villa and have a nice new wall. Do you yeah, suggest that you use the um, maintenance contractor for benches et al? Because we quite often ask them to do extra work on other people's benches. Sometimes we do. And so we are, you know, it's already used for things outside the specific mm. use. I need to get my head around how we're we going to do this. Just sorry. I've got so an additional, additional question that will complicate you even more. Even more. On, Where have we got to with the uh, um, tendering for the maintenance contract? Well, it's with Council Poxon at the moment. Ah. Now, then, <laughs> now, now, now then, just a question. On, when is a wall not a wall? When it's a seed? When it's a seed, yes. <laughs> so, so if it was said that this was maintenance of a seat, even though the <laughs> wall stones are made to look like a seat, uh, could we get it done by the contractor and it go through that same budget without having to start meddling and messing and going through? The issue that I see that we have, the issue that I see we have, yeah, is that we're talking about something spending another committee's budget. Yeah. Because um, the maintenance of benches and all that sits in service provision. Yeah. So we're spending so we're back to the how do we get a budget first and then are we we could recommend could we, could, could, we, could we apply to that committee uh, for the uh, hire of their uh, uh, contractor to do our repair at their expense. I think I would like to refer to it, as well at the full council when we're doing the um, it's so when, when they recommend within the recommendation of changing the um, the committees and where we would apportion what lies with each committee that the maintenance of allotments moves over to the service provision and out of out of um, the reason this, that... out of this committee and it goes with the others of repairing. Now, nah, other assets right. there, it's yeah, in right. service provision. The, re the repairs. Yeah. It's, only be it's only been in this committee because it's been classified as income. Yeah. yeah I'm right. quite happy to carry on keeping the income here. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 And, and pass somebody else. And somebody they can else. have the expenditure, and if they need to increase their budget in order yeah. to um, yeah. make balance their books, then they can make a, yes. a recommendation. Yeah. Oh, just. Picking up on Mary's point, though, I think this is fairly, it looks suspiciously like me, somebody's come along and just pushed this over a bit, and I think that's the problem, isn't it? So the longer we leave it, somebody may yes, come along and no, push it to more No, what, what somebody's done is that they've found out that we've looked into it, and we're not going to do nothing about it, and they want it to look nice for their uh, onions to look at and whatever, so... So uh, I, I, I look at this from two be. sort of points of view. So one way that is what we can get someone who has a budget and could fix it if they yeah. so wish to fix it. Do we think it's in imminent need yes. of collapse? Yes. Yes, we do. I think so. So do we think a decision needs to be made it, tonight it, it, rather it, it, than it the next it, 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 it isn't imminent, it, it has happened. It's gone. When is that, the that, that's, a different, that's a different wall for the one that Rachel was. Right. Oh, right, ages. Ages. I, am, I take the broken window 
Palace, and I would, you know, so yeah. last time we met, we had a, a cost of 190 quid. Now we have one of 250. Yeah, How much is going to be at, at the next one? And I think, you know, I, I think we should set a good example for uh, the, the other landowners of the, uh, the, the parish. You're not going to get many wallers to go out for 250 quid on any job. I don't think we are. And so if they can stop it going any further, I think we should get it. Get yep. it repaired. I'm only crying that if we do it, yeah. that somebody in another part of the allotment is going to say, Oh, my wall doesn't mm. could do with something. And so, it, it could be a domino effect. So, we need to find. Councillor Pogler. Chair, I'm just with this whole budgeting thing. I mean, basically, I mean, it's the same with the toilets, isn't it? The donations come into us, yeah. but the actual day to day upkeep it sits with cask. Um, so, Surely, if we're going to identify taking money from somewhere, would we not still need full council to approve the expenditure? Which the obvious thing is we have a full council next Monday. Appreciate it's only a one item yeah. thing, but given this is a yeah. what could be deemed an urgent expenditure yeah. that's required yeah. in need yeah. of uh, rapid action, then it avoids F and M being turning on people's toes. Yeah. But it would allow um, allow it sort of to go through uh, yeah. as, a, as a recommendation from this council. So I don't, we don't. Yes, have we put a recommendation about yeah. the allotment and people. There's a war broke, and the finance budget doesn't have no. Yeah. The finance committee doesn't have a budget for expending on these. If things. somebody comes back, uh, Rachel and, mm. and Michael, you both did on the same point. But if somebody comes uh, to that meeting and says, "Well, look, you've been receiving." Uh, 250 quid every year for the last 20 years in rent. Uh, and did then you thought out some of that have to be money you've received? Well, and I, I'm not saying it, it would be one of the council that might say that. It would be somebody that could pick up on it privately and say that, look, it, it, it's all right, you're taking money off us for our allotments, but you don't do us any repairs to our walls and, and something like that. And it, it, it's, it's a situation that crops up all the time. No, I, I think we should. But in parallel, there could be a recommendation that yes. for the next year's could we not? budget. Could we not? There's some inclusion of a uh, maintenance line which sits with service provision, as you said. Yes. Yeah. I just think, no, just, I think we all want to. Could we not pay out of our money we've received this year? The no. rental. We, we want to spend it. Mm -hmm. This committee hasn't got a budget for it. We're going to ask full council. That. I appreciate that. Oh, that. We're, let me finish the sentence. We'll ask full council next week to approve us taking it from service provision. That's, we all agree with you. We should fix it and we're going to do it urgently. But we, we need to, because we don't have a budget for it, we can't say spend it. That's the way I see it. I see it as the finance and management. We bring in the money and we look at we oversight of the money. But we don't actually spend that particular part. So I think Rachel's proposal yep. seems good. Seems a yep. good way around this yep. for me. I'd agree. That we put the matter <laughs> up, up to full council, saying this in. There's an imminent wall repair. We know a good waller who would have dealt with before, and he's quite happy to, um, do, you know, do the repairs. Can you sanction us paying that money? And then in future, that will sit within service provision, hopefully. Well, yeah. we, should, we should state it's our yeah. maintenance Agreed. contract. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 it's our maintenance yeah. contract. Yeah. Yeah. John yeah. Farr has given us a quote that we Agreed. think is. Which, which comes up all Dixon says that's a very good price for any wall to go out and even. Wait, so you, you, you won't get you won't get a wall or doing any wall in for less than fifty pounds a, a meter. Mm -hmm. And when you look at it, that it might only be two meters. Well, so you've take back, you've got to take it back, you can take it back for to get it. Yeah. 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 Which brings me back to where have we got to on the maintenance contract? They're sitting with me and I meant to just approve them. <laughs> Good. You, you are not sitting, <laughs> sitting on the fence, are you, Michael? No, I'm just not. I'm just, just, you just have your round, I'm just be working more hours than I've ever, ever worked. <laughs> hey, this is not fair. It's just how the life is at the moment. Wonderful, isn't it? Being busy. Very busy, Bob. Very busy. Okay, so. Um, Do you need somebody okay. else to look at it for you? You could delegate it. I, yeah. I will if you need to. 
I'll turn it to you. Yeah. To Max, I was going to say. Well, I thought we were going to use an to expert you. from outside. Well, that's what I've asked Councillor yeah. Robson to talk to me about. Yeah. yeah. It's the um, ethical. Because the contract is one of the issues, and the yeah. other is I didn't, I just haven't found out who to go to to get advice. So I was asking your advice. Yes. So of course, we all agreed we should go to somebody yeah. who does know how to do it. Mm -hmm. So we'll know how to do it. Are you working tomorrow? Yeah. I'll have a talk to a conversation with you tomorrow, and then we'll. Somebody who knows how to do what, that. Tendering. All the legal things about tendering for maintenance contracts, you know, make sure, making sure we do it proper. Mary? Have we, have we properly finished the previous bit of business? Has Thank it, you. Has it that. been proposed and seconded? Thank you. Been no, been it's not. Done. So I have a proposal for. Uh, oh, we had a, one proposal from me, which was an amended by, with an amendment by Councillor Hogley. So, as is. Process. Can we? Um, does everyone understand what the amendment was? Yes. Yeah. Yes. All those in favour of the amendment? Yeah. 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 So, so, so the amendment has been carried. So the motion with the amendment is. Are we voting on that? All those in favour? Yes, that's been carried. Good. On the other matter, tomorrow on the agenda, but you're discussing other tenders. Why didn't you speak to Gabriel's procurement? No advice. It's our job, isn't it? Well, but we need advice. somebody to advise us, Paul. Yeah, well, but Kirk well, Lee's can't advise us on anything. They can't advise us all. Never mind, no one does. If it's up to do it, own value. They won't tell us. Right. They, they I'm won't. sorry, Michael, and I'm sorry, Paul, but I've always found that when it comes to the own value, we've got to look after ourselves. Very, they, they were very helpful because it was Kirk Lee's who helped us with all the financial or the technical work us in the right direction. So, you know. No. Anyway, okay, so that That's is so item. Um, so, do we so the next item is item 21-22-30, statement of intent on training. Receive report of any training by councils and officers since the last finance and management. Well, it will come as a surprise to learn that, to learn that I've had some training. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't mention it. Oh, did I? Yeah. Did I mention that? Oh, right. yeah. I did um, finance for councillors. And it was, at, at one level, a bit too simple, but it was quite useful. But I would recommend it for new councillors once they've done their induction. It was, uh, it was very good for that. But that was where I learned that both the internal and external audits are external. And the external adds nothing that you don't get from the internal. And the only reason she could give me in the end, because I finally pinned her down and said, so exactly why do we have to have the external? And she said, it's the law. Shock horror. That bringing somebody down. But the external just takes a vague look over the detailed work done by the internal. The internal is a valuable one. But in the round, you would recommend that training for all? I, for new for newer councillors, yes, it might be a wee bit. Uh, I learned two or three things, and it was only an hour and a half, and it only costs okay. twenty five quid or something. It, so, if anybody's vaguely interested, it, it's quite useful. But I would say for new councillors, it would be very good. Sounds bloody got bloody to me. I did it for something. It gives people more knowledge than what they had before, and I don't they always think it's good. I still did I didn't. I couldn't hear Councillor Hogley, who had her hand up, Paul. Mitten knowledge is dangerous sometimes. Councillor Hogley. I was just going to um, echo what Councillor Bonin said because I, I thought thought was familiar. Finance for councillors as a name, and um, I did indeed do it in December 2020. I think, like you, a lot of it was sort of yeah. Simple. The one that but was more interesting. One, one, one thing I'd say. You've had your say on this subject. So some things uh, I'd noted about it was that the external auditors, as you were saying, they're acting on behalf of the electorate, and that's how you should regard it. That's, that, that's their role. It's not a, but they are, a bureaucrat. It's someone who's speaking on behalf of the, the yeah. ratepayer, really. Um, but there was quite a lot about risk management. The one one I did. So the levels of reserve needs to consider the levels of risk that the council is exposed to. Because remember, at the time, one of the councils that was cited as an example was those that say get their income from um, not just the preset, but other things like renting out beach charts, for example, or um, things like that, which actually in obviously this area doesn't make a difference, but during COVID, for example, um, yeah. you know something that income has gone. So actually, because yeah. we're very um, 
effectively our income is just our precepts, and we've got a few minor incomes, haven't we? But then we've got any significant ones. So, uh, so we have a very sort of risk, not risk free, but uh, a less we risk, have a risk income than someone else. Yeah, yeah. which actually habit. means we, we have, which probably puts more onus on the fact that our reserves could considerably over the next few years be, uh, be reduced to a, to a more stable mm. level. Bentley, you're, you're where the beach huts or deck chairs, I know that some uh, councils have taken away deck chairs, because they've got that many people staying at home now, they've been making more, their incomes have been higher than ever before. Oh yes, yeah. 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 I'm, so, I'm, told, I'm told donkeys are getting fed extra, uh, extra food now because they're getting that many customers wanting to ride on them. <laughs> Okay, item 20. So, item 21 to, to no financial records. I'm with that. Yes, I'm sorry. I'm moving ahead of myself. Has anyone else been on any training? One point on training the, the financial training that I found more useful for a more experienced counsellor was called the internal audit. And it was a whole session on the, the internal, internal audit, yeah. which, was use, which was really useful. Okay, anyone else on training for number one? Thank you. So, 20, item 21, 22, 31. Financial records for the website. To note, financial records for April 2021 have been uploaded to the Council website, accessible from Quick Links. Anybody else noted by everyone? Yeah. And then 21, 22, 32, financial internal controls. To note, Councillor Colin has undertaken checks in the Parish Council's financial transactions for the month of April 2021. Reviewing the paper payment records and advances against the bank's payments. No amendments were needed except a correction of a date. So, noted? Yeah. It, pro it proves she's, she's done something if she's got the date to, to, to correct. <laughs> well, no, but every, everybody. No, uh, no, in, no, every, everybody's no, in, no, in no, it, it was rich. Everybody's in power. Well, it, it's good if you, can find, if you don't find something because then it makes you feel like the people are looking for. Yeah. Can we thank Councillor Colin? Yes, yes, yes. Yes, thank you very much. Councillor yes. Colin. And then 21, 22, 33, representation to do you report, if any, of representatives to outside bodies. Has anybody met with any outside bodies? Nope. No. I did make a phone call from him. I met with Wendy. Bellamy today said that he had some comments about the park, peak parks, about cops, junior and all the way. Okay, we'll ask him to put them, we'll ask him to put them in right. She's, she's a deep mob happy. I'll remember for the minutes. Okay. What, it's often related to energy generation and big park tourism. Like that. Mm. Oh, I know what it was. It was um, no. affordable housing. Oh, they've got yeah. some report out on the affordable housing. Oh. Mm -hmm. I think Councillor Bellamy listens to the big, the quite big a lot of the Peak District webinars slash. Yeah, he does, yes. So. The, the biggest problem on affordable housing anything that is of a lower value. The amount of, um, from what I can gather, I don't win the office very often, but from bits of picked up, there is a lot more people looking now at buying houses than ever before. And the gazumping is now back to what it used to be in the days when it was right before. And there is not such a thing as low cost housing now, it's less money housing. Mm -hmm. because. The thing is, is some of the less money ones are the dearest, really, for what you buy and pay and get for your yeah. money. And it, it's it's stupid. Our firm lived on small terrace houses and farms and whatever. Uh, now we're selling hundred million pound houses, and the amount of them that has appeared in the last few months is unbearable. Yeah. Uh, whether it is that it's other agents that have missed them and Robert's done a good job and got them, uh, I don't know, but uh, there seems to be a lot more money. I know somebody who went after a house for its child and it's got £50,000 from the uh, original asking price. So. People are leaving the city then. Yeah. Yeah. People who are leaving the cities have an inflated the, sense of the cost the, the, of the, 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 the other factor is that uh, where you've got a, a nice little three bedroom semi, the small bedroom was a box room which was just a single child, is now the office. Mm. Yeah. Well, 
Oh, can okay, I so say? can I officially bring the meeting to an end with that report from um, William Sykes and so on? Can I just say I've had apologies from Councillor Greaves during the meeting. Okay. Are you going to accept those apologies? He's on another Zoom call. I will accept those. Yeah. Yes. Okay, so, shall we press the... Yes,